When she gets there, she knows all the stores are all closed. With the world, she can get what she came for. Oh, oh, she's buying a stairway to heaven. There's a sign on the wall, but she wants to be sure. Cause you know sometimes words have to mean it. In a tree by the brook. There's a song but it sings Sometimes all of our thoughts are misgiven Oh, it makes me wonder It makes me wonder There's a feeling I get when I look to the west. My spirit is crying for leaving. My thoughts I have seen the strings of smoke through the trees. Voices of those who still look in. Makes me wonder. Whisper soon, your call a tune, and the pipe will lead us to reason. And a new day will dawn for those who stand long. The forest will echo with laughter. In your hedgerow, don't be alarmed now. <laughs> it's just strengthening for make way. Yes, there's a two pass you can go by, but in the long run, there's still time to change the road you're on. And it makes me wonder. Your head is humming and it won't go in case you don't know. Papa's calling you to join him. Dear lady, can you hear the wind blow? And as you know, the stairway lies in the whispering wind. As we wind on down the road, our shadows taller than our soul. And walks a lady we all know Who shines white light and wants to know The tune will come to you at last And she's buying a stairway to heaven Hi, thank you for tuning in. It's funny to me. I picked that song because I wanted to do something related to uh, the crown chakra because I'm studying a lot about meditation. Everything that I'm looking into, I want to figure out, you know, all the little logistics and what scientific relevance and merit there is. Like, I'm not somebody that's just going off feel, although, you know, feel feel matters, you know, we all have feelings, but uh, I'm just really studying this right now, and I sure appreciate you giving me a chance to share what I'm learning, because they say if you really want to learn something, you really want to know if you've learned it, try teaching it, so here I am, and here we are, and uh, I'm doing a nightly meditation every night this year, um, decided to do that a couple days ago, 8 o'clock, um, Arizona time, and I'm just going to be exploring a lot of different things. Seeing what's out there, seeing what clicks, seeing what works. 
So I'm just gonna give a like a little bit of education about the uh, crown chakra up here. We have seven chakras that people tend to focus on. It's your little energy centers and it runs right down the middle of your body, uh, starting at the base of your spine, all the way up to the top of your head. And some systems, like I say, there's actually 114 chakras, but for now we're just focusing on the seven. So crown chakra, um, it's interesting because it's supposed to be, let me see, I got some little notes that I took, but uh, uh, some people call it the umbilical cord to the divine. It's at the top of your head. And uh, in Sanskrit, it's known as the bridge to the cosmos. It's the most spiritual of all your different seven chakras. You can imagine little discs going down your body. Uh, got you one up here, top of your head, crown chakra. It acts as your center of spirit, enlightenment, wisdom, universal consciousness, and connection to higher guidance. Now what's interesting is the same way we have seven chakras, Earth has seven like chakras. And so I was looking up, you know, what's the corresponding chakra for the you know earthly physical manifestation? And they say it's Mount uh, Kailash in the Tibetan Himalayas. And what I thought was funny is like I decided I was gonna do stairway to, stairway to heaven tonight because I'm always doing an anthem that I figure kinda coincides with whatever the concept I'm doing, just to try to sync it up with some music that I think is just I guess, you know, relatively contemporary. Um, and just I don't know, it just it just makes sense. It clicks, so hopefully it works for you too. But um when I just started digging in a little bit on the crown chakra and then this Mount Kailash, it said the stairway to heaven. I was like, whoa, because I had just decided to play stairway to heaven. And um, I don't know, I was just kind of, because I was like thinking heaven and heavenly songs and whatever and songs that involve heaven. And uh, I don't know, it just kind of, kind of tripped me out a little bit. So um, when your crown chakra is out of balance, um, the way the physical manifestation of that, like your symptoms would be, um, plagued by stuck energy, you got some emotional cues such as uh, difficulty meditating, that's, that's assuming you do meditate, uh, difficulty feeling connected, uh, spiritual disinterest, boredom, feeling antsy with the mundane, and not feeling connected to one's purpose or wisdom, or desiring to be completely alone. So it makes me think of uh, Paul Simon's I Am A Rock, <laughs> but uh, I guess the strongest signs are supposedly depression, apathy, and skepticism. Uh, and excessive sarcasm and narrow minded this. So I thought that was interesting. And also, you know, we kind of have a stereotype of hippies that, you know, do om or whatever, or om. I always thought it was om, but, and maybe there's a different situation where you're supposed to use om, but om with an O, O M, that is the vibration, uh, like one of the verbal, oral articulations associated with this chakra. If you want to do, you know, meditation and go OM, that's a good way to start to connect. So the color associated with the chakra is violet or purple or white. So, you know, I got, got my purple pick that I was playing with tonight, wearing my purple shirt and uh, things that Kind of tune in with it too. You got the uh, your amethyst, and I'm pretty sure that's what this this guy is too. And then you know my singing bowl hangs out on his own little purple pillow. I'm assuming he's a he. We haven't gone into that deep with it, but they do say that the chakras have like some of them are more masculine, some of them are more feminine. But I ain't got that far in my studies yet. But soon, anyways. This right here is a singing bowl uh, that is attuned to the note B, which is the different chakras um, correspond with the seven notes of the scale A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So crown chakra happens to be A, or B, sorry, yes, B. Just double checking my notes because I don't want to mislead anybody. I was right. So B and the concept, if you were watching last night, 
Um, I can was the shot was the the concept of uh, the third chakra, I believe. I've been doing a lot of studying, but tonight it's I know. So um, anytime I do anything, as far as this meditation or whatever, I say a prayer of protection, um, just to be protected. Because when you do meditate, you are opening yourself up. You know, you're relaxing physically, emotionally, spiritually, you're kind of opening some channels and ideally we're trying to get our energy flowing uh, even more than it already is in a very positive manner. So, you know, it's one of the recommendations is envisioning like a white light layer of protection around yourself. It's impenetrable. And I, I, I like to have contracts and agreements that are ironclad and leave no room for confusion, unnecessary confusion. So I say to God, I say, please um, make it such that all that I'm doing is for your greatest good. And don't, please don't let anything that is not for your greatest good contact me. So literally contact me, contact me, mess with me, whatever. That's what I say. And uh, that's what I, I guess, demand. Yeah. So anyways, I do that. And then I'm just going to do a breathing exercise and a guided meditation. Hopefully, help relax you a little bit, take the edge off. Everybody's stressed out these days. And, you know, just it's just an opportunity to center and welcome the positive, expel the negative, reject it completely. Say, it can't come back, it's done. So, and remember, it's I know. So, and last night I actually managed to break my glass singing bowl. I'm not sure if I broke it or I don't know exactly what happened. But it broke. So it's kind of bizarre. At the end of my meditation, if you watch the video from last night, it'll be pretty trippy. But tonight I got metal, so if it breaks, I mean, that's pretty, that's a whole other level. I was like, that would be. I don't know, like in a video game, I'd be like, wow. So, anyways, um, crown chakra. I just breathe it in. Breathe it out. Thinking about like energy, purity, all things clean and good coming and just washing over you, absorbing, going straight through you. And it just feels good. It just feels really good. Like I, I felt some like goosebumps when I did that. It's kind of tripping me out, but everything happens for a reason. So, oh, <laughs> hey, Gail, you're on here. That means that you're good. I'm glad. That takes a little load off for me. Oh. Close this, and then I'm gonna talk for a second. I don't know, maybe I'm just super sensitive to like, B, <laughs> but I just, I don't know, feeling good, positive sensations, like after having a really good massage or a run or, Whatever, I don't know, I just feel better than I did when I sat down. I hope you do too. And 
I sure appreciate you taking some time to tune in. Feel free to give us some feedback. If there's things that just really resonated with you or helped you. Because uh, I'm doing this as part of a bigger plan uh, to become a doctor. And I appreciate you. Have a fantastic night. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night and many nights after. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of nights till the end of the year. It's going to be good. Okay. Go in. Love. Keep your love, girl. Keep your love. Give it out. Keep some for yourself.